girl shit. What's up, y'all? This girl make me say yeah. What's up, y'all? This girl make me say yeah. What's up, y'all? This girl make me say yeah. What's up, y'all? This girl make me say yeah. What's up, y'all? This girl make me say yeah. What's up, y'all? This girl make me say yeah. Ain't getting high, girl. Coach and beat. I've got to look like Megan. This lady behind me is Megan the Stallion. I have one goal and one goal only for the end of the year. To be walking on the beach in Bali in a bikini. She has been dropping her workouts on how exactly we can get this body. Haters will say she got it from surgery. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. So for the next week, I will be training and eating like Megan the Stallion. Go Buke. Good morning. Why was Megan the Stallion's birthday yesterday and why did she just release shorts that look like these ones? <laughs> I'm not saying that my baby girl and I are in sync, but my baby girl and I are in sync. Welcome to day one of trying to eat and train like Megan the Stallion. Anyway, the first thing that we're doing today is Megan makes a pre-workout smoothie. I don't have a blender. We'll buy a blender today. So... Technically, if smoothie bowls I just blended together fruits. If the fruits blend in my stomach, shouldn't it be the same thing? So Megan eats like a high protein, moderate carb diet. And that's very similar to what I eat as well. The hardest part about this whole thing, it's probably going to be the workouts. I don't know if you guys have seen even a glimpse of the kind of workouts that Megan does. When I tell you I'm scared, that is an understatement. I need a good playlist to get me through. And if the beat live, you know Lil Ju made it. Hands on my knees, shaking ass on my thighs. Post me a pic, finna make me a profit. When the liquor hit, then the beat get toxic. Why the f you in the club when it's wild? So the workout of today was a combo exercise, followed with a hot girl call with Nike. You know, with the H-Town hottie herself. H-Town hottie herself. And y'all, my fears are right because my goodness. I'm in the house, but nigga, then I stop at air mirror just stare at my own posterior. I don't give a f who talk behind my back. I knew better than to let me hear. Okay, that was actually not that bad. The call, the first round felt like a beginner workout. And then I realized I wasn't doing it well. <laughs> and then when I started doing it well, I was like, oh my god, I can see how, like, this is this is killer especially if you do it for longer today the whole plan was to kind of like ease my way into it so i had one of the nike exercises but honestly it is off to a great start time to go and get a blender from target grocery haul i picked up just a few things because during this challenge i don't want to waste food and I already have some food, so work with me here. Mixed berries, pineapple, tomatoes, more bananas, peanut butter, and chicken. This is the blender I decided to buy. My friend made a really good point. If you buy this blender, you can kind of like just take everything, go, it looks like it uses a USB cable. This one is more convenient and portable, so woo. A lot of protein and so I'm trying to again think how can I fill as much protein into my diet I actually heard on a podcast a dietitian talk about how it's very important to like when you focus on counting your protein the carbs will just fall in line and like the other things you're supposed to eat just fall in line focus on filling yourself up with as much protein as long as you're hitting your protein goals you'll kind of eventually intuitively know how much carbs put because you're full like there's no way you can force that much rice if there's this much protein Ooh, yum yum i also picked up some olipop which is like it has prebiotics plant fiber something 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 but it's a great replacement for soda so if you're looking for like different like types of sodas and something that doesn't have like added sugar if you're on a health kick essentially this is like a really good replacements there's this and then there's something called poppy which is also good as well so i'm like pro sparkling water pro fizzy and so the fact that there is healthier fizzy alternatives makes me so happy but i am hungry 
and I don't think I've eaten nearly enough food as I should so tacos <laughs> We have the coolest, yummiest, protein-heavy meal ever! So for dinner today, we are having tacos, um, and this is loaded with beef, and then the white thing I put on top is cottage cheese, and I have a little bit of garlic chili powder. So let me go enjoy my meal, watch a little bit of The Office, and I will see you tomorrow. I am committed to this making the study and this thing because why is it snowing? So pretty. And hold it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. But I just got back from the gym. As you can see, I am ready because. I know I look like a hot girl already, but um, yeah, we're going on an adventure today, yay! But obviously I haven't eaten because as you are seeing, this is a bad habit and it's only day two. You know what saves people? Rice crackers and freaking peanut butter. So we are going out and so we're gonna eat like a proper meal a bit later. But I'm gonna have some rice crackers and I'm honestly starving so I might add some banana. So peanut butter, rice crackers, banana and some kombucha. So wow! just made it to Baltimore which are where some of my friends stay and so I had some beautiful wache and some chicken wings which are food from Ghana the wache is food from Ghana chicken wings you can eat it anywhere and now we're on our way to the National Aquarium <laughs> Everyone, it's time to touch the jellyfish. So head over this way. Okay, so just like that, we are done with the aquarium. That was actually so fun, and so I recommend if you're watching this from anywhere, make sure you find an aquarium near you and go and look at the fishes because i freaking love fishes and i can't believe we got to see the fishes and now it's time to figure out what i'm gonna eat for dinner and do just that i got you i actually got you there's a lot going on here Y'all, this one kicked me in the butt, literally. I spent 10 minutes on that elliptical and I worked on my poor booty. I mean, Megan, come on. Look, this fucking burns. <laughs> Today was hard and I'm not even done. One of the things that Megan has said in her video is that she works out twice a day which means that as it is monday i have done three days into my workout it is time to kick it up a notch by including a run at the end of the day i want to close my eyes and go back play it in my mind a movie of us two yeah we were happy at the time can't remember what it felt like we used to be so strong that picture perfect sky now it looks so great cold we've been playing here since that ain't the baby that's my baby friends and the mom hate you want to have some nice ass we keep on my diamonds and sex. What's your name? Keisha. Keisha. Five, Jazz, Jazz, three, Sierra. Two, go. Lisa. Ashley. Ash, Sierra. Sarah. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Today is kicking my bum. Today kicked my bum. Today, 
I did a 20 minute run and then I did the workout. Um, I had like a whole thing planned. It literally is kicking my bum so much that I think I need to split the workout into two. Like I couldn't hack finishing the workout. I also think that it is day five of this challenge and this is where obviously my health wants to take a dive but we will fight back but also take things easy and so i think the best way i can take care of myself right now is to feed myself so my high protein diet i picked up these banza spaghetti made from chickpeas and i'm gonna have this with chicken stir fry which is a nice heavy protein meal but since i'm already cooking the chicken i'm thinking that on one hand we can make some chicken bean stew that we can keep then we can also make some teriyaki chicken that we can keep she got her hands on her knees with her ass now who that little bitch a player if her friends ain't around to record it she been over shake that love oh my food is ready okay so we also have the chicken that is done right there my little grilled chicken and then i have the beans and the chicken stew more like soup beans and chicken soup <laughs> oh my Victor, you actually did this? Oh my goodness, Victor, you did this? We are almost at the finish line. Listen, if the finish line is here, we are here. To the pre-workout smoothie. So that was quite the challenge. It's been a few days and I can finally sit down and tell you my honest experience. Firstly, every single thing that I did will be in the description box below. So sets, reps, all of that will be down below. This was so hard. It was hard because I was not eating enough. And I think that with diet culture and like weight loss diet culture, we've been taught that less is more, but the less isn't really described to us. And I was training hard and I just wasn't eating enough. Based on my research and now that I know how everything goes. Look, I'm not a fitness coach, so listen to what I'm saying with a grain of salt, in fact, smaller than a grain, with the mustard seed, with the amount of energy that I was expending, I just should have been eating way more. A big thing and a big reason I was doing this whole thing was because of balance. It's part of the reason I chose Megan and I really like Megan Thee Stallion because I feel like she embodies what balance looks like. I mean, this girl will drink, she will party, she will shake that booty we were trying to build in the gym. And at the same time, she will get her college degree. She will get the keys to the the city she will be an advocate for mental health and that is why i picked this challenge after her and moving forward i think the key word here is balance but oh, no, that's all i hear you want to see if this challenge thing ever actually worked as messy and as silly as i did it this is what we started with and this is where we ended Please, can somebody tell me why it looks like we ended worse than we started? But I think I kind of have an explanation for this. And I think it is because, obviously, and as sillyly as I am, I did this during, like, the week of my period. I'm bloated. I, measurements are all off. And so I definitely need to do this again with a controlled environment. So many different factors. But it was the challenge, um, and we did it. So let me know in the comment section below who you think is another celebrity whose kind of lifestyle that I can try and embody for a week because, you know, we're also trying to figure out our own lifestyle. And yay, we did it! I just might be a black Bill Gates in the making mm -hmm. So watch this space Watch this space